Okay, so I just did my um, Apollo 18 review and I'm just going to do the I Saw the Devil review. Um, yeah, so I Saw the Devil. Um, I saw this appear on a bunch of top 10 movies of 2010 lists. Uh, it was on a bunch of lists, uh, you know, various reviewers I watch. So I, I was like, well, I guess I'll check it out. I mean, the story seemed interesting enough. Uh, so I ordered it off Amazon, got it on Blu ray, so there we go. Uh, watched it, and okay, so the story of the movie it's um, the story can be broken down to a really basic story. Um, it's it's pretty basic, let's say. Um, so I don't have to babble on about the story for too long to explain it. Uh, so basically, it's just about a serial killer, to put it really, really simply. Uh, the serial killer, he kills people yeah so at the start of the movie he kills uh, this detective's wife and of course the detective is really pissed off about, about this so he kind of makes it his life goal to hunt down the serial killer so that's the story of the movie basically uh, we got the the uh, detective hunting down the serial killer and it's there you go that's basically it it's kind of like a cat and mouse game let's say so yeah, that's the story. Um, the story is, it does get a lot more interesting than that, about a quarter of the way through the movie. I'm not going to say how it gets interesting, because it's a lot of fun to watch this movie without real realising what's going to happen. I'm kind of proud of myself for not spoiling anything about this movie, aside from the fact it's a, about a serial killer. Because with films I'm interested in, I often accidentally spoil things for myself before I actually see, the, see them. But with with this movie, I went into it. Watch, uh, I watched when I load, loaded it up into my PS3. I all I knew was it was about a serial killer and a detective trying to track him down. So this movie just it just changes the the angle it's going for. The way you think the story is going, it just suddenly changes all of a sudden. Uh, one thing I will say before I uh, get into this now is prob this is probably going to be a short review. No, seriously, this time. I know I said this before, but seriously. And uh, what was I saying? Something about I saw the devil. Um, okay, so yeah, okay, so a lot. I think this movie was hyped up a bit too much for me because it it was on a bunch of top ten movies of two two thousand and eleven lists, like I said. So I was expecting a, re a really awesome movie. I was expecting this to be one of my favorite films of all time. I guess I was I was I was just expecting way too much. Uh, I didn't like it as much as I wanted to. I really tried to like it, but I didn't like it as much as I wanted to. But hell, it's still a great movie. I mean, it's just not one of my favorite films of all time. But it's still a great movie because I was I was expecting it to be one of my favorite films of all time or something. I just hyped it up way too much for myself. But whatever, it's it's a great movie. I, I really liked it though. It's still a fun movie. Um, so it's it's a Korean movie. I think it's Korean. Uh, so it's got subtitles, obviously. If that makes a difference, I know some people hate subtitle films. So just throwing that out there. So I just really don't have much to say about the film. This is one of a few reviews where I haven't written, written down any notes. Like Apollo eighteen, I just did that. I I, wrote, I write down a few notes to go off of most of the time with my reviews, but this time. I've just, I kind of just sat down. Here I am, and I haven't, I haven't written down any notes for it, so I don't really have much to say. Even if I tried to sit down and write down some notes, I just don't have much to say. The problem is with movies I like, it's just what can I talk about? Apollo 18 had its flaws, so I had plenty of things to talk about. Well, not a lot of things, but I had a little bit, uh, a few things to talk about. With, with, but with this, I, I just liked it. And there's not really any negative points about it, but it, it's the positive points aren't major. I didn't enjoy it enough to put it as one of the best films of all time. But it's just there, there's no negative things to talk about that I can think of, to be honest. It's a so like I said, it goes it about quarter of the way through the movie. It just goes into another direction. It's great because the killer is confronted by the detective 
very early on in the movie. It's not as if this is one of those whodunit movies. It's you find out who the killer is. Like they don't keep the identity of the killer a secret. You find out at the start of the movie. They they don't hide his face or anything. You know who the killer is throughout the whole entire film, and you just cut back and forth between the killer and the detective as the detective trying to hunt down the killer and the killer is killing some more people. So. Um, the detective confronts the killer about a quarter of the way through the movie, so it's pretty early on. And I'm not going to say anything else, but what was happening during the confrontation, I was like, I leaned over to my controller, I hit the slack button. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this brings up the time, how the length of the movie on the PS3. So this sh shows you at what point in the movie you're at and how long you got left. And I was only half, it turns out I was only half hour through the movie. And this is a two hour and 20 minute film. So I was like, uh, we still got over an hour of this film left. So how, how can they continue this now? Uh, during the confront confrontation, I, I was on the edge of my seat wondering what the hell is going to happen next, let's say. Uh, but yeah, the direct, I like the direction of the movie. And the direction of the movie is awesome. It's kind of like, it's something I, I would find it really entertaining, the direction this movie went in. So I'm really disappointed and surprised that I didn't like it as much as I wanted to. I was expecting to really enjoy it, because as I was sitting there and I realised the direction this movie was going for, I just didn't like it as much as I wanted to. But it it's still, it's still a great movie though, anyway. So this movie is unpredictable, so that's definitely a good thing. You never know what's going to happen next in this movie. The killer, the actor who plays the killer is awesome. I really like that guy. Um, it's one of those, it's the sort of, um, it, the actor, he's just, you believe that he's a psychopath. Um, you know, like uh, Dieter Laser was, Dr. Heiter in The Human Centipede. The same way you believe that he is truly insane and he plays his character well enough so you truly believe the character uh, you, you you really buy the actor as the character. Um, it's the same way with this movie. I'd, movie, I'd say, is that you really think you really believe that this guy is insane. The actor plays the character very well, and this movie has some pretty brutal scenes. I mean, if you've been sensitized, you're not gonna you're not gonna be bothered. You'll be fine with this movie. I, I was fine with it. I mean, I've been desensitized, but I can see this movie affecting quite. Uh, I, I can see this movie affecting quite a few people. I mean, like, uh, disturbing them or making them go, oh, that, that's pretty gruesome. Uh, this movie doesn't not hold back when, it's, when it comes to someone getting mutilated or raped or, or raped or something. Uh, this movie will... Sh it's not scared to show that sort of stuff. And the va um, Also, if you, if you love watching people getting cut up and stuff, uh, this movie is great in that uh, aspect as well. Uh, the special effects I'm talking about, uh, the special effects are great. They are pretty... Um, Pretty realistic, they're convincing. So kudos to them for the great special effects. It has some pretty cool fight scenes. It has quite a few uh, fight scenes and they are pretty pretty awesome I'll say. And uh, I'm not sure if you classify as a chase scene. There's kind of a chase scene about halfway through the movie. I'm not quite sure if you classify it, classify that as a chase scene, but the chase scene was pretty suspenseful as well. And one, this one scene, it's a, it takes place in a car, basically the killer, he hitchhikes and jumps into a, a taxi. Um, I'm not going to say what happens in this... Well, someone dies, let's say. That's pretty obvious. Um, so, so the killer gets into a taxi, someone dies in this scene. And it's an awesome scene. I, I was sitting there almost gobsmacked by what the hell was happening. Um, I... It's just the way, the, I guess it's the cinematography, I guess. The, the camera kind of rotates around the action. It's one of those things. Um, I know some people hate it and think it's like the director is trying to be artsy or something. I know a lot of people kind of hate those camera shots. I don't really care. It's just whatever. Well, whether or not what's happening on screen is interesting. But this scene was awesome. It's uh, I don't think I've ever seen something quite like this. Uh, the camera movement in such a small space is done very well. I I, I can't. I I don't want to give spoilers because I don't want to spoil the scene, but I'm having trouble describing it without giving spoilers. 
it's basically a good scene. The taxi scene, watch out for the taxi scene. That bit is great. Uh, the camera just spins around the action as it's going on and it goes on for like 30 seconds. What is happening just goes on for about 30 seconds and it's entertaining as hell. I was just sitting there, um, you know, you, you're just almost laughing at how insane the scene is because it, I, I can't describe it to you, but for spoilers sake, I really, you really want to watch this film and build up to the, uh, and the build up to the scene to get its full effect. But basically the taxi scene is great. It's directed very well, the special effects are great. And you'll just be laughing at how insane that scene is just, you'll just be laughing at how insane it is. Um, the, the, the story is pretty uh, pretty simple as well, so if you kind of want to, it's nice to be able to just watch a movie and shut off shut off my brain for once. Because uh, I've wa recently I've watched a few movies which um, uh, that's, you need to try and switch on your brain for them. But I, I haven't seen a movie like this for a while where you can just shut off your brain and just not pay attention. Even if you don't pay much attention to the dialogue or anything, you'll get the gist of the movie, so... It's fun to be able, it's nice to be able to shut off my brain for once, but even then, the movie is still kind of clever, don't get me wrong. But it's a simple enough movie, so it's just fun to be able to relax and watch it and not think too much into it. And of course, like I said, it is kind of clever as well, it is still a great movie, so... And the ending is, I really like the ending as well. I thought the ending was really clever. I mean, you got symbolism and all that good crap, you know. Uh, the ending was great. And... That's really all I have to say, I just, with movies I like, I just don't have that much to say. I mean, The Human Centipede 2 had certain things about it which I had to, I could discuss, which um, allowed me to talk about it for over an hour, but with this movie, I just liked it, and I, there's not really any bad points about it that I can think of. It's just a great movie, so it's really unpredictable, you'll never guess what movie, the uh, what direction the movie is going in, unless you're really lucky, but yeah. Definitely watch it. It's it's definitely worth watching. It's a great movie, uh, unpredictable. It's got some great gore. So if you love watching people getting cut up, this movie will certainly satisfy you there. Uh, the cinematography was great, especially in that taxi scene. I really enjoy that taxi scene. It, it it was a really great scene. And the killer, the whoever played the killer, I don't know the actor's name, but he did a damn good job. He he's. Pretty creepy uh, when he kills people, and uh, he's, he's just a fun. He's just a fun guy to watch act as a serial killer. So I saw the devil. I really liked it, not as much as I wish, wanted to, but yeah, it was a great movie though. Definitely worth watching. Worth watching, and that's really all I have to say about it. So thanks for watching. Bye.